In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the standard deviation in Excel. Now, we're going to do more than that. We're going to talk about the concept of standard deviation. Now, you might be wondering, what is standard deviation? Like, what does it measure? Standard deviation, well, it measures the deviation of the data around the mean. It measures the variability, the dispersion of the data relative to the mean. So if you look at set 3C, all of the data points are exactly on the mean. There is no variability. So the standard deviation for that is going to be zero. And we're going to calculate that as well. We'll show it. When the data points are very dispersed or very far away from the mean, the standard deviation will be high. So that's what that's the concept behind the standard deviation. It measures the variability of the data and how dispersed it is from the mean. So let's start with set one. Let's calculate the mean. If you type in equal, average, and then select the data, it'll give us the mean, which is the middle number, three. Now let's calculate the sample standard deviation. Type in equal, stdev, dot s, and then select the data. So we get this number, 1.58. Is that high? Is that low? It's kind of hard to tell because we only looked at the first set. Let's look at another set, set two. Since these numbers vary by one, the mean is going to be the middle number, four. Calculating the standard deviation, it gives us a high number. Notice that we have some outer points two units away from the mean. The mean is 3, 1 is 2 units away from it, 5 is 2 units away from it. But if you look at set 2, the mean is 4. We have points that are 3 units away from the mean, 1 and 7. And so because we have more data that's further away from the mean, we can see why the standard deviation for set 2 is higher than it is for set 1. Now for set 3, the mean is going to be the middle number, 5. But notice that we have data four units away from it. So we should get a higher standard deviation. Now let's calculate the standard deviation. STDEV dot S. If you press dot P, it will give you the population standard deviation. But we want the sample standard deviation. As we can see, the data for set three is higher than it is for set two because we have numbers that are far away from the mean. Now, set 1A, it's a variation of set 1. If you compare these two, set 1 and set 1A, which one has a higher standard deviation? Notice that the data for set 1A is closer to the mean. The mean is 3. 2 is closer to 3 than 1 is to 3. 1 is 2 units away, 2 is 1 unit away. 4 is closer to 3 than 5. So the standard deviation for set 1A should be lower than it is for set 1. The average is going to be the middle number. It's going to be 3 again. Notice we get exactly 1. All of the data points except the mean they're one unit away from the mean, which is three. Now, if we compare set 1A and set 1B, which one would you say has a higher standard deviation? Notice that we have more points closer to the mean. We got three points at the mean and only two points one unit away from the mean. In set 1A, we have four points that are one unit away from the mean. So, the standard deviation should be less than 1. The average is still going to be 3. But the standard deviation is a lot less. By the way, for those of you who might be interested in reading my ebook, How to Pass Difficult Math and Science Classes, feel free to check out my website at video-tutor.net. Now let's continue. Let's move on to set 2A. If we compare set 2A 
with set 2, what would you conclude about the standard deviation? In set 2, we have some numbers close to the mean, like 3 and 5. In set 2a, all of the numbers are very far away from the mean. They're all 3 units away from the mean. The mean is 4. The only thing that's not is the mean itself. So we should expect a higher value than set 2. The mean is still the same, by the way. Notice the standard deviation is 3 because all of the points except the mean are 3 units away from the mean. 1 is 3 units away from 4. 7 is 3 units away from 4. And we saw the same thing with set 2a, where all of the other data points were 1 unit away from the mean. 2 is 1 away from 3. 4 is 1 away from 3. So the standard deviation is 1, because all the data points are 1 unit away from the mean. With the exception of the mean, by the way. Now, looking at set 2a and set 2b, which one is going to have the higher standard deviation? Well, set 2b have some numbers that are close to the mean, so it's going to have a lower standard deviation. Set 2a is going to have a higher standard deviation. As we can see, this is much less than 3. Now, if we were to compare set 2b and set 2c, which one is going to have a higher standard deviation? Notice that we have a lot of numbers centered around the mean. And 3 and 5 are only one unit away from the mean. 1 and 7, they're three units away from the mean. So set 2c has less deviation around the mean. It's going to have a lower standard deviation value. The average is still going to be 4. It was designed to be that way. And so the answer is less than 1. Even though these two numbers here, 3 and 5, are one unit away from the mean, these three four numbers, I mean those three numbers of four, they're exactly on the mean. So that's why the standard deviation is less than one. If you look at set 1a, all the data points except the one that's on the mean, it's one unit away, which is kind of similar to this one, but we have three points on the mean instead of just one point on a mean. Now let's move on to set 2D. The average is going to be 4. But what do you think the standard deviation is going to be? Notice that we only have one point on a mean. All the other points are two units away from the mean. So the standard deviation should be 2. If you have more than one point on the mean, it's going to vary from, it's not going to be a nice whole number like this. The only way we're going to get a whole number is if we have one point on the mean and all the other points are a whole number away from the mean and they're equally distant from the mean. That's how we're going to get a nice number like this. Like set 3a, notice we have one point on the mean. Everything else is 4 units away from the mean. So the standard deviation should be 4. The average is going to be 5. The average of 1 and 9 is 5. As we can see, the standard deviation is 4. All of the other points, except the mean, they're 4 units away from the mean. So it makes sense why the standard deviation would be 4. Now, if we were to compare set 3a and 3b, we can see that set 3b is going to have a much lower standard deviation. We have an, a lot of points at the mean, and the other points are very close to the mean. So would you expect the standard deviation to be 1 or less than 1? If we go back to this one, the only reason why the standard deviation was 1 
is because all the points except the mean were one unit away from it. And there was only one point on the mean. When you have a lot of points directly on the mean, it can bring the standard deviation to a value that's less than one. And that's what's going to happen here. So we got a value less than one. And we can see that with set 2C. We only have four points that are one unit away from the mean, but three points on the mean. And when you have a good number of points on the mean, the standard deviation tends to be less than one because the data is very close and concentrated to the mean. Here, all the points are on the mean. There's not a single one that's away from it. So it's going to be exactly zero. So that's the basic idea of standard deviation. It measures how much the data varies around the mean. If all the data points are exactly on the mean, it's going to be zero. If a lot of the data points are on the mean, but a few are you know, away from it, it's usually less than one. If there's only one point on the mean and all the other points are exactly one unit away from the mean, the standard deviation is one. If all the other points are three units away from the mean, except for one point that's on the mean, the standard deviation is three. If the outer points are two units away, the standard deviation is two. If they're four units away, the standard deviation is four, given that there's only one point on the mean. So that's it for standard deviation. Remember, it measures the variability or dis the dispersion of the data around the mean.